today's meditation is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 to 12. In Matthew 7 verse 1 to 5, Jesus warns against his self-righteous attitude, cautioning us not to be quick to judge others. This call to non-judgment is not a license for moral relativism, but rather an invitation to self-examination before casting stones. During Lent, as we examine our own lives and seek repentance, let us do so with a humble awareness of our own imperfections. It is in acknowledging our shortcomings that we open ourselves to the transformative power of God's mercy. The imagery of asking, seeking and knocking in verses 7 to 11 emphasizes the importance of persistent prayer. In the Lenten season, we are encouraged to intensify our prayer life, earnestly seeking God's guidance, strength and forgiveness. Through prayer, we invite God into the intimate recess of our hearts, fostering a deeper relationship with the Divine. Verse 12 encapsulates the essence of Jesus' teachings in what is commonly known as the Golden Rule. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. This principle echoes the core of Christian ethics and serves as a profound guide for our Lenten joy. As we engage in acts of self-denial and penance, let us also extend kindness, love and mercy to those we encounter, recognizing the shared humanity that unites us all. Moreover, the passage suggests a reciprocal relationship between our actions and God's response. As a loving earthly parent gives good gifts to their children, our Heavenly Father delights in bestowing blessings upon us. This reciprocal dynamic encourages us to approach Lent not as a mere ritual, but as a dynamic exchange with a loving God who responds to our sincere efforts with grace and love. In summary, the Lenten season, as illuminated by Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 to 12, calls us to humility in judgment, persistence in prayer, and adherence to the golden rule. It is an invitation to engage in a transformative journey of self-reflection, prayer, and compassionate action. As we navigate the challenges and blessings of Lent, may we find profound meaning in this teachings and immerse spiritually renewed, ready to embrace the joy of Easter. May God bless us all.